Hi, my name is J.R. Tallman, and today I'm going to take you through how to update external IDs within NetSuite. External IDs within NetSuite can be used as a primary key to reference information when uploading data. For instance, if you're uploading your chart of accounts, you might not want to reference your entire account number and name string when doing the upload, as that's a requirement within NetSuite. So for instance, if I was doing an upload for a journal entry, I would need to upload either this internal ID, which is an auto-generated number by NetSuite, either number 52, or the actual entire string name, which would be 3,000 retained earnings combined together. Some users like to just import and use the account number themselves, which would be 3,000, which then I could set as the external ID. Same thing goes for our classifications within NetSuite. So if I go to set up company and our department list. In this particular development account, I have marketing and sales, and I can either upload a journal entry to be internal ID one for this or the actual name. However, sometimes you may want to reference a different external ID, maybe from an external system, and to set that and use to reference on your imports, you can set this and hard code it yourself. So to do that, we'll use this department object right here. And we will make sure to update the external ID to whatever we want to set within the system here. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and simply export this list out. Again, you can do this for any type of record within NetSuite that you can do an import for. If a record is not available for an import, such as your subsidiaries, you can still set an external ID, but that would need to be done through a script or via another integration. So for this department, we can do an import directly within NetSuite. So I'm going to export this out to CSV. And then once this has been exported via CSV, I'm going to open this in Google Sheets. You can certainly open this in Excel. And I have uploaded this via Google Sheets here, as you can see on the screen. I have the internal ID and the name. The important piece when uh, you export this out is making sure you have the internal ID. So if you don't have the internal ID when you export this out, make sure to customize your view. So if I go back here in NetSuite, um, you want to make sure to edit this view and make sure that you include the internal ID as a column before you export. That's going to be a requirement here before we do the import to update the external ID. You don't necessarily need to have the external ID as a column when you first export it out. However, when we do the import, we are going to want to make sure that this external ID is populated. So in my instance, I don't need the name. I can go and simply delete this. You can keep it there if you'd like. However, I don't need that name when I do the import to set this external ID. So for this video, I'm just going to go ahead and simply type in test one and then test two within the next row here. All right, so uh, this does need to be unique. So to make sure that each of these uh, that we're updating here has a unique name or value set. So what's going to happen here is when I do the import, this should update then internal ID number one, which is marketing here for this department and be set to test one. And then on that uh, internal ID number two, which is sales, this should be test two. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to export this out and save it as a CSV record. Again, you can do that via Google Sheets or you can do it via Excel. Just make sure it's comma delimited uh, when you export that out and save it to your desktop. I have exported that out and saved it as a CSV. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Native NetSuite and go to Setup, Import, Export, and Import CSV Records. Now on the Import Assistant here, the import type, since I am doing departments, is going to be classification as the import type. So make sure to select classification or if you are doing any of the classifications, which would be your department class and location. I'm going to select department here. Again, you can do that for anything for the uploads and set the external ID. Just make sure you have the correct import types selected here. If you're doing your chart of accounts, go ahead and select accounting and then you'll see your chart of accounts as the record type and you can do the same thing for there. But in this case, I am doing department. So I'm going to click classification and select department here. Character encoding, you can keep uh, as is. The CSV column delimiter, we can keep as the default comma, since that's what we saved it as with the CSV file. And then we can simply select our one file to upload, which you just saved as a CSV, either from Excel or Google Sheets. All right, I have set uh, my file here, and once you selected it, you can go ahead and click on Next here, and it will take you to, to step two of the import options. Now this is key because we are gonna be updating the values within the list, so we, we wanna go ahead and select Update here. Uh, there's no further options that you need to select here in, in advanced options, so you can keep that as is. And then we're going to simply click on Next here. And once you click on Next, it is going to automatically imp, uh, map your settings, assuming that you have the same column headers. So I have external ID and internal ID here, which is excellent. So NetSuite is going to know to update the external ID based on our internal ID. Again, that internal ID is something that NetSuite auto generates. Um, we can't set that number, and that's how it's going to know to update the external ID for our import. 
So that's already mapped. If it was not mapped, you can go ahead and drag and drop from the right-hand side and make sure that these are selected. The same thing goes on the left-hand side. You just want to make sure that you have selected each of these respectively. So if you don't have internal ID, for instance, mapped, you're going to want to be on this row. You can go either click on that row and select the value on the left-hand side, or you can simply drag and drop that to the, the second row here. Click back here on that second row and map that uh, on the right-hand side with the internal ID. Then I'm going to go and click on Next here on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, and it's going to ask me if I want to save this mapping and start the import. If you want to save this um, to use in future imports, you can do so underneath Setup, Import, Export, and use the Save CSV Import option if you were to give this a name. In this particular uh, example, I'm not going to give this a name, but feel free to put it here. Uh, you don't need to fill out the description or the ID. You can just simply give it a name. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this drop-down, and I'm going to simply click on Run. It's going to ask me, data you entered on this page has not been saved and you will be lost. That's completely fine because I am not saving this particular import. So I'm going to click on OK here. And what's going to happen is it's going to have a confirmation in the top left-hand corner of the screen. And it says click to view the import job status. So I can click the import job status here with that hot link. And it is showing me here that uh, my department has been successfully imported. Once it's been successfully imported here, what will happen is I can go ahead and uh, see how it was updated on our setup, company, and departments. And you can see my external ID is showing with test one and test two, which is perfect. Again, that was uh, updated because I set the internal ID on my import. I can easily change that at any time. And I can do that for, again, all types of records within NetSuite. Just make sure that you have the internal ID set on your import and you should be good to go. I hope you enjoy this video and you have any comments, questions, or you would like additional videos in the future, feel free to comment, subscribe, and I will look forward to viewing my next video. Thank you.